in the dream, it was dark outside. And in the dream, it was myself and another person, a faceless person. I know it was representative of the Holy Spirit. Off in the distance, I saw Mike Bickle. I've never dreamed of another leader in the body of Christ ever in my life. I saw Mike Bickle in the distance. And this person, faceless person next to me, the Holy Spirit, prodded me to reach out to him. And so I shouted out, hey, Mike. And he looked at me and he started to run. He started to run away. And I had to chase after him. And I finally caught up to him. I put my hand on his shoulder. I turned him around towards me and I wrapped him in a hug. And I said, Mike, I love you. He pushed me off, pushed me away. And then he ran off into the darkness. A couple of things to highlight there that is congruent with what he has said. The fact that I reached out to him in love, hopefully all of us should say, Mike Bickle, I love you. We are commanded to love one another, no matter who the person is. So I hope we can all agree on that fact. But he pushed it away. He, he spurned the love of God. Now I'm not saying that I was representing God in the dream. I'm just saying we have two greatest commandments. Jesus told us to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, mind, and soul. And then what? To love our neighbor as we love ourselves. That is the love of God. And he spurned the love of God. Mike Bickle has spurned this from very real friends. Sam Storms was a close friend of his. He basically, in a nutshell, told Sam Storms, don't contact him ever again. They were once good friends, by the way. He has spurned the love of God and he has ran off into darkness.